Hi, I'm Melly Bean, and in this video, we are actually going to draw a really cool hot air balloon, so let's draw one. Okay, so go ahead and get your pencil ready. And you're gonna start by drawing a circle. So just a simple circle. And once you get the circle, you're going to draw a line coming down and then you're going to draw from each side of the circle down to that line that you just drew and you're going to meet it. Next, you're gonna draw the basket of your hot air balloon. And you're gonna draw one line, and then another right below that. And then you're gonna meet those lines together. And then you have the basket. And next you're going to draw a line down the center of the circle and this is going to be the beginning of the stripes that we're going to put on the balloon and then from there you're going to draw a curved line coming down and almost meeting the middle line then you'll do it on the other side of the straight line And then go to the right side again and do another curved line and bring that down to almost meet the previous line that you drew. So you want to come out from the previous line just a little bit each time and continue to curve the lines. And this will make the circle look more round like how a hot air balloon would look and it wouldn't it doesn't look flat this way and if you wanted to you can even draw your stripes going the opposite direction like horizontally instead of vertically Now just for fun, I'm going to draw in some little clouds here and I'll give the clouds a flat bottom. Because what's a hot air balloon without clouds, right? And I'm going to color in the clouds with a light blue. If you wanted it to be stormy, you could color your clouds in really dark. It's all up to you what you choose to do with your colors in your drawings because color really makes a big difference in what your final drawing looks like and what it feels like. So darker colors in this instance would make it seem more moody and dark, like maybe you'd have a thunderstorm, but we want it to feel more like it's a sunny day. So they're gonna be bright and puffy.
So now you're going to choose the colors for your stripes and I'm going to do yellow and red and I'm going to alternate the colors. So first I'm going to start with my yellow and fill in in between in between two of my lines and then I'm going to skip a line and leave the one white and then go back to yellow. And I'm going to do that on both sides of the hot air balloon. Now going the other way, I'm going to do fill in those stripes also. Next, I'm going to get my red color and I'm going to fill in everything that I left white and do my red stripes. I've never been in a hot air balloon before, but I think that it would be really neat, but maybe kind of scary. Have you ever been in a hot air balloon? Would you want to try it? Do you think it would be fun or do you think it would be scary? I think it would be both. So a fun fact about hot air balloons is apparently the very first passengers on a hot air balloon, so I guess who they used to test it out to make sure that it was safe, was um, they used a sheep, a duck, and a chicken. Can you imagine that? A sheep, a duck, and a chicken going for a hot air balloon ride. And I guess they actually made it and they survived and... I guess their ride was about eight minutes long, so they probably thought that was a long ride. So that's a fun fact for you and I, but it might not have been so fun for them. So now you're just going to fill in the basket with a light brown. Or whatever color you want your basket to be. Now I'm going to use a darker brown and I'm going to draw some stripes on my basket. And go ahead and erase any unwanted lines at this point. Usually you can only erase uh, what has not been touched by the marker. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my gold gel pen and I'm going to start following the lines that I drew previously with my gel pen.
And I'm just going around the outside edge of the hot air balloon with my gel pen. And now I'm going to go around the basket and the lines on the basket. I'm going to go around the clouds with some silver. Just kind of doodle it in there a little bit so that uh, it just gives it a little more detail and makes the drawing more fun. Now I'm going to draw the ropes on the hot air balloon that hold onto the basket and you go from the sides of the balloon down to the corner of the basket. And then alternate on each side and draw more ropes until you get to the center. And I used a gold pen for that. If you enjoyed this video, please like it subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to comment. Thanks.